In this quick tip, I'd like to show you guys how you can smoothen a fluid simulation if it's starting to jitter or give you some flickering-like behavior. Now, if you watched last month's quick tip, I was showing you how to make an infinite loop with an apple. The one issue with that, though, is that at the edges of this honey simulation, we have this jittering effect happening. So let's go ahead and do a quick play blast and I'll show you what that looks like. Starting at 390, going to 450, the jittering is pretty bad. Now, the trick I'm about to show you is going to fix this, but if you ever have a fluid simulation that's flickering like this or just being really erratic, then what I'm gonna show you will apply to many different situations. The first thing I'll do is a remesh to grid. And do check out the Node Bible Quick Tip that I just published last week on this particular node because there's a lot of cool options, specifically if we use the thin plate option. So that will create an SDF volume. We measure the distance away from the surface. That's where we draw things. The offset, let's say 0 0.01, and then our division size will be 0 0.005. So we're going to have a pretty high resolution on this. Now we end up with something like this, which is great. From here, we can use a smooth, smooth this out a bit, maybe take up the strength here to 15, filter quality down to one, something like that's pretty good. And then we can use a peak node to bring this in. So if we take the distance, let's say minus 0.01, that will shrink the honey inwards and should leave us with a pretty decent mesh that doesn't have those weird jaggedy patterns. So let's see what happens when we have a closer up view with this particular mesh with this viewport. So after we do that, we still have some glitchiness on the way up and we can fix that through some additional smoothing. But overall, it's looking all right. So Let's go ahead and smooth after this mesh has been made. So right there, let's say that our filter quality is two and let's set this to about 15 iterations. So right about there. Then we run the remesh to grid and what we can do is set it so that the dilate slash erode is negative 0.01 and we have a smoothing iteration of two on this VDB. Let's see what that does by only looking at 390 to 420 when that flickering is happening. Okay, and after some smoothing, this is looking much better. It's still there. This is the worst part of the flickering. So if this is as bad as it gets, it may not be an issue if you're far enough away from this object, but there might be one more trick we can use to ease this even more. So, if we create a time shift, sometimes you can create two time shifts, set the frame here to plus two, and then let's go ahead and copy everything we did over here to make another blend shape situation happen. So we're basically going to blend these two guys together and then on the sequence blend here, I'm going to set that to 0.5 so that we're always somewhere in between the current frame and two frames ahead. Once we have that, I'm then going to take this whole setup, copy it, control C, and paste it down here. And we're going to do the same exact thing, except this time we're going to subtract two. So same thing as before, now we subtract two, we're back to where we were originally. And what's really cool about this is once we have that, and on top of that, we go up here and we turn down the resolution a little bit, or we take the division size up so it's more coarse, we end up with this. And again, that's during the glitchiest part of what we saw before. So this looks a lot more smooth. All right, and as we can see, this is looking much, much better. If you're interested in booking one-on-one -on -one consultations or setting up mentorships with me, 
then check out CG Forge Academy. Here you'll find everything you need for going through scene files, talking about your aspirations, your career goals, and coming up with ideas and specific plans to help you get where you want to go to more quickly. I offer that at cgforge.com. Just go there, click on the Academy button if you're interested. And besides that, I hope that you've enjoyed this quick tip. Hope that you have fun with it and have a great day.